Good. Chilling. Right, See how many people What, is this on. on right now? It's already on. Oh, wow. See, so, this is all new to me. It's good. So the comments come in. We can choose to read them or not. No, no, no. no. I, I, I can't see that far, so it doesn't really I matter. You, you ever know. go right, on your Instagram, Joe? Be kind, would you, Ryan? Because I will, I will. Ah. Oh, sparkling water? Oh. It's yeah, yeah. I well, the good thing on. is, here's the little really... margarita before the fight. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. Right. Here's what I want to tell your fans, though, is okay. that we're actually out to dinner eating at, two, the two, at the Valencia Hotel with Lupe Valencia. Yeah, we oh, yeah. uh, Eating yeah. two days before the weigh-in, and we're eating well. He's got he's got a filet mignon coming, and a nice chicken breast coming, and a vegetable medley yeah. with a sparkling bottle of water. I mean, we're chilling. We're having a good time. But that is a testament to how hard you work in camp. Yeah. Okay. We're doing good. We're doing good. Very well. Very well. Yeah. And then, then you can tell your fans about your little tete a with to go. Oh, yeah. yeah. So sure today I got into a little thing with to go, to go. It's really hard. I'm, let me be honest. It's hard to pronounce his name. No disrespect to his looks, last name. It's it looks hard. like it's spelled to go. Yeah, it looks like it's spelled to go. Uh, I think mainly today was uh, kind of a a little filling out tester because he's been speaking a lot online. Thank you. Uh, Throughout the course of the fight, calling me Queen Ryan. If you look at his tweets, he's always saying he has the Ghana pepper. You know, things that are just kind of just a little wacky. And uh, I decided to give him a little taste of his own medicine. Right. And uh, size him up, see how he is. Uh, I have no intention. No, of... he started foaming up at the mouth right away. Yeah, he did. You, you had him worried, I can tell you that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But no. it definitely wasn't something I premeditated and no. I wanted to do. It was kind of an in-moment thing. He was looking at me in a certain way, which kind of could fire you up if you feel that. Well, the, the bottom line was it was our designated time for the you know press workout. He had already had his. Yeah. So he, he purposely came into... Saturday night, I can guarantee you that. No, we're ready and we're happy to be back in the ring and uh -huh. camp went good. Oh, good. Camp went good. One of the greatest camps I've ever I've ever been in. Yeah, it's been, been that, a great time. That was a seven week camp that felt like three weeks because the work was so intense and so much of it that you really didn't have time to think about time. That was the crazy thing. Yeah, we just kept working. Where'd you guys do your camp? San Diego, baby. Coronado. Oh, Coronado, Coronado Island. Island, yeah. Look, like, if you're going to do a little prison sentence of a training camp, that's the place to do it. That's like, you know, uh, club fed, as they say. <laughs> it was really nice. I also want to clear something up about the weight. This was already a, a predetermined. predetermined and set up way before we even uh like every when it came out every this was already contracted at 139 right when we signed it so had nothing to do if i was gonna make weight and they had to switch it real quick like people are supposedly saying actually you know let me straighten that out for everybody because i didn't know that was even a uh, a thing a right? thing um we made the weight today we made it under actually we were 38 and a half the contract is at 39 Yesterday we had 39 on the dock. Um, we could have hit 39 at any point. Yeah. The fact of the matter was, you you hadn't fought in a year and a half. 39 is, you know, that's why they call it a catch weight. You don't yeah. have to fight at the championship 135 pound weight. It's a catch weight, and you know, you are getting older and you are getting bigger and you are maturing more. Look, I mean, Oscar De La Hoya started at 130 pounds, ended up at. What, 160? 160. You no, know, I mean, look, guys grow. Yeah. You're, 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 you're 23 now, you're going to be 24 soon. You're not 19, 20, or 21. Yep. And any man out there that's gone through these stages knows you do not stay the same weight your whole life. No, you know, it is. No okay. way. But, but Joe, like Brian said, right when we negotiated the contract for this fight, both parties agreed to that weight, 139. Yeah. So it was never a thing. It was something that we contracted yeah. for in the beginning. And That's if right. and if you guys uh, are going to be in town or can make it to San Antonio, make sure to go get your tickets. They're on sale right now. 
Uh, it's gonna be at the Alamo Dome on Ticketmaster. It's gonna be it's gonna be amazing. So if oh, you yeah. can go get your tickets. If not, watch it on the Zone, and it could uh, it's gonna be a great great night. Well, it's gonna be one of your, I'm predicting one of your greatest performances. You watch. He's gonna be explosive because we sparred probably with 10, 12 different sparring partners and not one of them got out of that ring unscathed. I can tell you yeah, that. They, yeah. they all paid a price. It was like nothing I've ever seen. And I've been doing training camps for a half a century. The one thing I've learned is how your sparring goes is usually how the fight's gonna, like, you know. Yeah, it, right. it determines on at least how you're gonna be. That's right. How explosive you're gonna yeah. be and how, uh, how you should, your body should react in the fight throughout the rounds and yeah. whatnot. So, uh, the one... That's why I'm pretty confident right now because I know what my body is capable of and what I could do in a mm-hmm. now a 12 round setting. It's even better. Mm-hmm. One guy 12 round setting. I'm used to fighting three, three different guys yeah. uh-huh. and they're keep going and I gotta readjust to a new guy, a new guy, a new they're guy. They're fresh and you're slowly you know yeah. wearing down yeah. a little yeah. bit, you know. But yeah. How about that 15 round session? 15 round session was good. That was a good day. Good. I mean, try that one day. Uh, 15, 15 round. First off, they don't even have 15 round fights anymore. Number one. Number two, you did 15 rounds with three different guys, each doing five rounds. You got a fresh guy each time coming at you. So after 10 rounds, you had already done 10 rounds. You got another fresh guy in there to do the last five rounds, which are, you know, I mean, they don't even do 15 round <laughs> fights anymore, but you did 15 rounds with three different guys and they were all quality sparring partners. It was an amazing thing. I haven't seen that. Like you could I, haven't, I haven't seen I that. I could have probably still went. I haven't seen that done since uh, Diego Corrales when he was getting ready for Castillo. Yep, he was the last guy I ever saw do that, and it ain't easy. Let me no, tell you. it's not. For sure not. No. But uh, yeah, so all in good spirits, guys. And uh, they're asking, Joe, this is one question for you. Yeah. Who is faster, Ryan or Amir Khan? <laughs> Joe, don't act, like no, answer I'm gonna, these type I'm of things. I'm going to tell you something right now. They're, they're, they're both fast, but I think Ryan's quicker. And there's a difference. Quicker and fast, yeah. That's okay, true. Amir Khan was really fast. I trained Amir for a couple of fights. Very fast. But you're quicker off the step. In other words, when you step with that left hook, guys don't even know it's coming. Yeah. It's coming that quick. No, what's funny, one guy told me, he goes, I don't see your punch, I just feel it. Well, that's, <laughs> and that kind of proves my point. Yeah. You know. It's pretty funny. But but uh, I, with all due respect, yeah. Amir was one of the fastest guys I ever trained. No, he's super fast. Oh, super yeah. Fast. I mean, he hit Phil LaGreca with that right hand over the jab, lightning fast. Uh, he took him out in 33 seconds in the UK. Uh, and LaGreca had gone 10 rounds of Sean. When Porter. he knocked out from second, you got to watch it in slow motion to actually see the oh, yeah, yeah. It was oh, so so fast. One thing uh, I want to let everyone know, uh, the press conference tomorrow is open to the public, mm-hmm. so everybody in San Antonio can make it. If you can make it, come to uh, come to the Alamo Dome and just be, a, be at the press conference. Let's uh, have a good time and yeah. yeah. Oh, it's going it to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. We'll yep. see what to go has got up his sleeve for tomorrow. Yeah, He's going to be know. irreverent again. Maybe he will, maybe he won't. We'll see. <laughs> It won't matter Saturday. Night. Nah, I, you know, we're going to do our thing. Yeah, I can do you talking for you on that one. I know what's going to happen. You need to take care of this guy. Yeah. Believe you, man. 1 p.m. tomorrow at the Alamo Dome. 1 p.m.? Okay. Mm-hmm. 1 p.m. So everybody, 1 p.m. at the Alamo Dome. You got coffee again? Dude, I got to stay awake. You know? Make sure I can keep up with you. you know, you're not an easy guy to keep up with. <laughs> we got Leon. He's saying... He's going to try to fly to Texas for this. All right, hey, man, come through. Wow, that's awesome. Come through. And then... Uh, Who else? Let's see. We're going to take some questions. That's pretty awesome. People can just tell you what's going on right now. Yep. Shows up. Uh, there's 3,000 people watching right now at one time. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, Let me see. I'm going to look for a good question. How can you, Dad? Are those all good? Why is my dad watching it while I'm on it? No, I'm not. No, you're not. Uh, <laughs> you know what? I didn't see any. If you guys have any interest.
No. I'm gonna. T we're gonna take okay. some questions and we're gonna put it on the thing. So do the question thing. Uh, but think of some creative ones because we've answered a lot of questions. So I'm gonna answer the most creative ones, ones that I think would be a good thing to answer. He already ordered. All right. So when do you do you come back to this after a certain amount of time? Like, do you get to eat your dinner and then come back to this? Yeah. Right when we get our food, we could just shut it off. And we don't even have to come back if we don't want to. Really? Is that a question? It's up to us. We have the question. How, Your attorney Texas, has a question. How's Texas been treating you, right? The one thing I love uh, is the people from Texas. It's wait, like they're so genuine. They call a spade a spade. And, you know, there's not really a lot of haters in Texas. I'm not lying. Like, it's just straight up. If they like you, they like you. If yeah. they don't, they don't. They're just straight up people. And that's what I love about Texas, for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You even said and this you is two might. in a row for you. And I even said I might move out here. Right. There's just something about Texas that I'm like, wow. And there's your second consecutive fight. And then what's crazy is the guy told me the the guy from Fox for San yeah, yeah for Fox San Antonio. Uh, he said that you sold twenty thousand pre-sale tickets. That was crazy to me. I was like, twenty thousand pre-sale tickets. Really? For That's my, pretty good. Hey, for a fight that, you know... What is it holding? a pay-per-view? It's not a pay-per-view, it it's hold? just a, a... Wow. Yeah, but they stay, you know, mm -hmm. as big as they want it, but 20000 is a lot. I that's mean, pre-sale tickets, 20000 that's still, that's good. Yeah. It's still three days. Yeah. It's still and three. remember, 30 to 40% of the people buy tickets the two days. Day of the fight. Of the fight uh -huh. yeah. Wow. The day of the fight. This is so, going to be good. 20000 of... A lot of fans out here, you know, one arena, it's going to be electric. Uh, and I want to thank everybody. I want to thank the, the state of Texas and the city of San Antonio for really getting behind me and supporting me. You guys are, you know, you guys mean a lot. I don't know why. I have a, I have a heart for Texas. It's just, it's just how I feel. <laughs> you, you've told me that for a while. I have, I have. Before we even got here, you told me that. <laughs> yeah. And we want to thank Rick Moronis for the use oh, of yeah, the gym, too. Oh, yeah, of course. Thank you, Rick Moronis, for the uh, for the use of your gym. Mm -hmm. The hot gym. The hot gym. Mm -hmm. That gym that you put on the heater, full blast. Thank you. No, I'm kidding. And the top. And if anybody doesn't know who this is, this is Joe Goosen, uh, legendary trainer. He's been training people for 50 plus years. And close looks, to it, looks, yeah. look as, and as good as 50. when he just started. And he's only 50. 50. So he's been training guys since he was uh, zero. No, uh, right. But uh, <laughs> if you want to watch a, a historic moment, which I love, my favorite moment is when he tells uh Corrales, you better get in on his ass now. Something like that. Something. Not as good. You all no. say it's your thing. No. It's a little, a little harsher than that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jo Joe, don't play around. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, That we're, was we're the happy. Corrales Castillo one fight, which was uh, a tremendous fight. It was. Corrales got off the canvas twice in the 10th round and got a little push from me in the 10th and came back and, well, I'll let the fans Well, that's the it. thing. You know, you know. You know your fighters. That's one thing you do. You have to. You have to. And we spent time together yeah. getting to know each other real well in the gym. You do. You have to know what they do well. Oh, I remember all the yeah. hidden things that you, you say. We have our own language. That's for sure. And, and tell the people, you know, we actually go back to when you were 17. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 17 years yeah. old. Mm -hmm. Me and Joe were in the gym. Yeah. Uh-huh. And Joe never took amateurs, but he took me. So mm -hmm. that was cool. No, oh, I knew what was coming. Yeah. I knew what was coming. I was yeah. like... No way Joe's gonna train me, you know, I'm still an amateur. Hey, at that time I was I was very excited. I was like You were young. I was young. Yeah, well, you know. Yeah. Hey, listen, no doubt it all came full circle. Yeah. I'm really happy for it. And the good thing is, I know for a fact I'm gonna fight three times this year. I feel I feel so good. Mm -hmm. Three more years, it's gonna be I mean three more fights. In one year, it's just gonna be so good for me. I can't wait. I mean, I've been longing to just fight, 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 and I think this is finally the year I get to get back to keep, like, you know, that constant yeah. being in the ring, being in the ring, and uh, can't wait for you guys to all be there. Probably gonna close this soon, but uh, I thank you guys, Joe. Any last words? Oh no, just definitely tune into this. If you can't be here, tune into it because right. Ryan Garcia. There's a reason why I left my home. My kids, the whole nine yards, I left my own gym to come here to train him. And I probably wouldn't do that for any other fighter in the world today at my stage of the game. And I'm feeling for Ryan because of one reason. He's special. He's very special. He's going to be a superstar. He already is in his own right. 
but you haven't even seen the best of Ryan Garcia yet. He's really growing in to what he's going to be, and that is one of the greatest fighters that ever laced them up at the end of the day. You watch and see. Let's go, guys. Love you guys. Peace. Mm -hmm.